manner also. Bible talking. In like manner also. That women. That who? Women. That women. Adorn themselves. Adorn themselves. In modest apparel. In modest apparel. With shame faces. Shame faces. And sobriety. What? What? What else? Not with broided listen, hair. Listen. Listen good. Not, not with. with broided hair. Broided hair. Hair decoration. Or. Or. Gold. Gold. Or pearls. Or pearls. Or costly array. Now. Many of you have wrote me and said. Makeup is not in the Bible. This is what you church folk look like. One of you brothers get that side for me. Will you please? Quickly please. Come on, brother. Set that over there. Set that over there. Two of you brothers uncover this one. Two of you brothers uncover this one, please. Take your time. Uh -uh. Take your time. Take your time. I don't want you. Take your time. Pick that up down there. That's why you didn't take your time. You took the Christian wig off. Put it on. Now. You Christians. You have so-called Christian celebrities. That look like this. You have some first lady in churches, pastor wives. You look like this. You let your children look like this. You let many of the mothers in the church look like this. You go to so-called Christian concerts and the women look like this. The Bible says. In like manner also. In like manner also. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is so modest? about this what is so modest about this there was some women wrote me when they heard me preach against it and said my pastor don't say nothing I most certainly know he don't your pastor want to see this yeah. your pastor want to see this yeah. because your pastor want to go here yeah Am I right, I said? Talk to me. Give me Jeremiah. Yes. Chapter four. Chapter four. Now, for you that says makeup is not in the Bible. Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 4. The fourth chapter. And at verse 30. Follow me in the Bible and verse 30. Oh, uh, this is good. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30. Yes. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? You see, when you spoiled in these churches, you can look like this. Because the preacher preacher gets no sin. T.D. Jakes ain't going to say nothing about this. Creflo Don ain't gonna say nothing about this. Joel Austin ain't gonna say nothing about this. Your bishop, he ain't gonna say nothing about this. When you up on the choir like this, your bishop looking at you. Am I right, I said? Amen. Listen. And when thou art spoiled, when you are spoiled, what wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou closes thyself with crimson. The Bible said you close yourself with crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. What else? Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. Your face have what on it? Thou rinnest thy face with painting. You see it? The Bible says. Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. How do God feel about the way this looks? In vain. In what? In vain. What do they do in vain? Thou shalt make thyself fair. You think you look beautiful. But in God's eyes, your fair look is vanity.
Vanity. Vanity. This is what church have become to. You look on BET, the choirs look like this. Baptist folk, like this. Non-denominational, like this. So-called apostolic, like this. Catholics, like this. Give me Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Listen now what the Bible says. That thou shalt put a difference. What did it say? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Turn Williams up. Make him louder. Yeah. Leviticus, what is it? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Leviticus 10.10. 10. I want all my viewers to get this. Get this. Get this. Call the ones that hate it and say, look at what that crazy Pastor Jennings got on television now. That's right. You know why some of you upset? Because this look like your mama. This look like your daughter. This look like your wife. This look like your second wife. This look like the pastor wife. And that's why you upset with me. Because we call a spade a spade. This is not the look of a Christian woman. No. Talk to me. Somebody posted a video of the excerpt of the clip of me preaching next to some gospel singer. She was dressed like this. Singing about Jesus. Talking about let's sing praises. A gospel singer dressed like this. And yet you men want to fight me. Women. You know why men cuss me out? Because I'm encouraging you to be modest. Because they want to keep playing with you like a slave master. They want you to look like a hoe. Go ahead. So they can make it rain. They want you to look like this. So they can keep driving and bumping their horn. They want your daughters to look like this. So that old hypocrite can take advantage of your daughter. They want your wife to look like this. So they can take advantage of your wife. So that's why they call me nigger. Call me what you want. But we're going to put clothes on our women. The Bible said that the women adorn themselves how? In modest apparel. Come here, Sister Bailey. Modest. Come here, Sister Bailey. She's the church photographer. Stand right here. Stand right here. This is modest. Come here, Sister Jennings. Come here quickly, please. This is modest. Modest to power. Now, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with it? How in the world you expect for a man to come at church and think about Jesus and you looking like a stripper? Talk to me. Bible says, let the women. That women adorn themselves. How? In modest apparel. Modest. Modest. Respectable. Presentable. You may be seated. Even some jobs got a dress code. Am I right, I said? That's right. So you on the hip hop network, y'all heard y'all making fun of me and said, oh man, uh, he must really got a whole man for him to lash out. 
All that weak talk. You see, your mothers, your daughters, your niece and aunts, they are like this. You women, you send your daughters out with something tight like this. And these old men looking at your 15, 17 year old daughter. How in the world can you criticize what I'm telling you? Listen, even if I'm not in church, this is morally wrong. Morally, it's wrong. 